<laughs> now for something terribly important. Why did the MOD want the PM to join the AA? This uh -huh. present David Cameron PM or any? No, the Prime Minister at the time was Harold Macmillan. Did the MOD want the country to become part of the temperance movement? Was there some? <laughs> ah, no, it's not that AA. The Automobile Association. It, the Automobile Association, exactly. It's that AA. Really? Yes. So when Harold Macmillan was Prime Minister, what was going on in the world around that time? Cold War. The Cold War was at its absolute height. And they knew that Kennedy had this system where wherever he was, he could retaliate in case the Soviets sent missiles. And they thought, well, we'd better have a similar system. Um, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and they thought, well, uh, there's an old man, Batten, who was the chief of staff at the time. And uh, they said, well, you know, you better have men going around with the Prime Minister who've got uh, radios and things so that uh, in case there's news of a Soviet attack. And they said, oh, no, that's far too expensive. And then the Prime Minister said, oh, I don't want people following me around, going around me all the time. I said, well, we use the system the AA use. So, basically, the idea was that they would get a signal from the AA to the car if the Soviets had launched a strike. But that, that would mean the Prime Minister could then stop off at the nearest telephone and issue the order for a counter-strike. <laughs> And there were some very exciting memos. <laughs> this is very British, this. You'll, you'll, you'll like this very much. Brian Saunders, who was the private secretary of the Minister of Work, said, it will presumably be necessary for someone to make a daily or weekly call to the AA control station as a check that they're in working order. And I understand that if an emergency arose while the Prime Minister was on the road, the proposal is to use the radio to get him to a telephone. Perhaps we should see that our drivers are provided with four pennies. <laughs> <laughs> so the Soviet Union, imagine stopping the road, we've got to, we've got to, all right, we've got the signal, there are bombs on the way from the Soviet Union, we stop off at the nearest kiosk, and nobody's got any money. But they thought about that, the drivers might, but no. Why? The, the Prime Minister's private principal secretary replied, shortage of pennies should not present any difficulties, such as you envisage. In such cases, it's a simple matter to have the cost of any telephone call transferred by dialing 100 and requesting reversal of the charge. <laughs> This is all true! <laughs> and this doesn't take any appreciable extra time. The system works in both normal and STD telephone kiosks, and our drivers are well aware of it. <laughs> so we were safe all the time. <laughs> the Prime Minister would have got a message, said, look, there's a red kiosk, would have stopped. I got in and called, <laughs> called up the operator and said, I want to call the Ministry of Defence armed um, bunker, yeah. and could you reverse the charge? <laughs> It's the Prime Minister here. Oh, yes, get off the line. <laughs>